I think most people would agree, Keith, it's been a pretty stellar week of weather so far, and there's more to come. We're kind of getting greedy here. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting used to it, which is... <laughs> That's uh, bad. Yeah, especially uh, this time of the year in Maine, but we had just a little hiccup this morning along the coastline with uh, some fog that you can see in this close-in picture right there. That's fog, and then it, it retreats and burns off. It's still lurking, that fog bank is offshore. It'll be back tonight but the wider picture is that pretty much everybody has been sunny from the beginning of the day and it will last the entire day if you're not along the immediate coastline there's no threat of that fog bank obviously coming back in and so we have the same situation that we've been dealing with for a while which is coast versus inland and we knew that would be the case it's pretty extreme right now in a place like portland sitting at 70 and then you get into berlin new hampshire it's it's 84 and we're going to widen that gap maybe even a little bit more even tomorrow a lot of us inland are on the way into the low 80s obviously 78 that's as of 11 51 uh, a.m observation so we might already be 80 in bangor and then the coastline is going to be a little bit cooler although doing all right bar harbor at 74 degrees so once again coast versus inland all of us though end up with sun and then later this evening we see that fog bank returning now i think this time around the fog bank is going to be a little bit thicker it'll go farther inland and i think it'll be harder to scour out of here on friday morning we talked a couple of days ago about uh, i think i put on the seven day fog fog bank scares me or something like that because it's going to be hard to burn this off in time along the coast and it will take up some hours of warming here. This is 10 a.m., 11. I mean, if we don't clear out till 11 a.m., it's gonna be a kind of a tough haul. So I'm still pretty bearish along the coast as far as temperatures go. Farther inland though, I think we'll be into the 80s again tomorrow afternoon. Some of us will briefly get to the mid 80s and the fog tries to come back tomorrow night. That's not gonna be rain. That's just the model trying to figure out the low level moisture associated with the fog. I do think of all the days here, the best chance for the coast to be legitimately warm to almost hot is going to be Saturday because we're going to start warmer and I think we have a chance to get to the upper 70s, maybe some low 80s by Saturday afternoon. You go farther inland, once again, it's in the mid 80s, so they do better, but that gap is kind of narrowed a little bit compared to what we're going to see tomorrow. So here's what I'm thinking tomorrow. Again, I mean, 68, 69 or so along the coast mid 80s even some upper 80s as you head farther inland and then saturday you see us even out a little bit more we're able to get a little bit warmer along the coastline and approaching 90 degrees on saturday afternoon away from the coastline it gets a little bit more humid it's not sticky yet until maybe saturday night and then there are some showers that could pop up on sunday another round of pm showers on monday and that pretty much monday night tuesday is the front that ends the party for us it will be significantly cooler on Wednesday. Although mid 60s still not terrible just compared to what we've so quickly Pat become accustomed to here, uh, it'll feel a lot cooler. It's a case of a little dose of reality, which this time of year, normal is not a bad thing. Right, at least it's not a, a freak warm up in February or anything like that. <laughs> right, yeah. thank you, Keith.